All right, everyone. This is an XR650R. I'm going to go through the procedures to change the stator. From the standard stock stator, which if you look here, has four with two additional wraps right here that somebody's done previously. But see all the rest of these that are empty all along here. So what we're going to do is put on, or actually, this is off my son's XR650R. His is a 2001. And this is off of mine, what we're going to be working on here. This is an XR650R 2000, and this is a Ricky Stator, 200 watts. See the windings on all the additional spokes here that are missing there? You see them right there. So I just want to kind of show you side by side. This puts out roughly 150 watts. This puts out 200. And we're going to go through the procedures to uh, dual output it. So put this one away. To dual output the stator, right now uh, the reason I'm rewiring all this is I'm going to hook up a battery and of course some other things to it. And it was uh, just went, went into an AC regulator, wasn't any dual output, just 200 watts through AC. And so we're going to have half of it, 100 watts for AC to run the Baja headlight here and the rear brake light tail light assembly there. And then the other 100 watts are going to go up here and power this connection here where I can run GPS and everything. And inside of here I have the battery and it's a lithium 12 volt uh, 240 cold cranking amp. Actually it came out of my Buell over there under a cover and I have it all wired and I've got all the wiring coming through coming through here. I've rewired all of this and put it all in a nice red protector so everything is dialed in. The only thing that's a little bit boogered up is right here where I had to do a bunch of splicing and everything so I just got it all wrapped in tape and it's tied in there real nice. So let's go through the procedures. Alright, if you're going to replace the stator typically you're going to have your cover already on here. I've already taken mine off. You're going to have four bolts. One, two, three right here, and then four right down there. This is a long bolt, and this is a long bolt, and this is a shorter one, and that's a shorter one, because if you look here, you'll see two that are longer, and two that are shorter. So you got four bolts. You take the four bolts off, which I'm going to take off and put them right here. And then you sometimes have to replace the shifter, I take the shifter off, depending on where you have your shifter placed. I have mine placed just a tad lower for my MX boots, so it just actually clears when I push down, put in gear basically, and I can pull the cover off. Now this is a magnet right here so it's going to come off a little difficult and there is a gasket along here which I have a new gasket right down there I'll put on when I install everything so here is your rotor, it would, I mean your stator it would normally be in just like this, there's going to be three screws right here I've already taken them out so I'm just going to loosen them here real fast one, two, three And there's two right here. These are all, by the way, a number eight millimeter. These on here are eight millimeter also. This is your pickup for your ignition, this little part right here. So it's a shorter bolt. Then it has a keeper to keep the wire that goes in between these down. So this little piece is right here. And right there is this little keeper right there. And then that comes up. See that wire? That's what it's holding down to make sure it won't interfere with the flywheel, which has the big magnet and stuff. And then right here is the same kind of a keeper. You slide this up. There it is. Just slide it up. And then you would take all this out. There it is. 
comes right out. Very easy. Next, you uh, get out your instructions right here. And if you look right here, and if you can see that, the dual output with battery is what I'm using. So if you've noticed, you've got a brown, a black, red, and a green, red, yellow. And then you have two green wires and two white wires. Uh, two of them go back into the harness. Two of them are going to go to your new regulator and then off to your battery. So I'll kind of show you that here, how that goes. You can download this, rickystater.com, and go to the technical section. They have all different. You can have a dual output like what was before with no battery and no DC regulator, just the AC regulator. This is an a, the green and white up here on top are the ones going to the AC regulator. This is going to be for dual output. Then you have a dual output separating going off to the light and the AC regulator. Then you have a single output, uh, which is, I'm sorry, actually this is the way mine was before. Single output, just putting out 200 watts in AC, but with AC you can't charge cell phones and things like that. It requires a battery because AC is a pulse signal as opposed to a DC, which is more direct signal, but DC requires a battery for storage. AC does not. AC is the same as your house. All alternators put out AC. It's the regulator that turns it from, or rectifier, excuse me, it turns it from AC to DC. So let's move on to the wiring portion. All right, so once you take your stator out, you're going to have wiring that goes up through your clip right here, just below your uh, clutch shifter lever and your clutch cable comes up through a hard mount here and it'll usually be attached right here comes across the frame like right there and it will come up underneath underneath your seat so of course you do have to remove your seat while you're doing this so in my case I've got the wiring already replaced up it's already been up through there I'm going to reroute with some other fancy red again that kind of stuff let's get to the actual wiring here this is what's critical so again, your normal stator is going to have, your stock stator is going to have one like this. You're going to have a black and red, a brown, a green, a white, and then this uh, green, white, and green, red, whatever. But you should be in a hard connection right there, hard pigtail. So you only have basically two, four, six wires. In the upgrade stator, you have two additional that go to the new DC regulator. So let's kind of show you that right here. So I've got everything wired back in correctly, except I've got two wires left over, which was this green and white. They go to the yellow leads of your DC regulator. Now your AC regulator is there. I installed the DC regulator. There was a bolt right here that had a, held a wiring loom hard point. I disconnected that and put this in there and it fits perfect right here. So it's below the uh, actual mount where the seat's going to come through and I'm going to uh, just make sure everything clears good. I'll put tape over this and some different to keep it from being uh, worn out. Now your DC regulator, this is a Trailtech HD heavy duty D DC regulator. It's going to have a red and a black, which go directly through the wiring, which you can see I've wired right here, new wiring. It goes up through here and into the actual battery, which I have a battery in here. Pull that out. This is just an MSR roost pack. There is a battery tender. 240 cold cranking amp. Uh, 51 or 2 watt hours, something like that. And I've got that wired in. I haven't put my fuses in yet until I finish everything. It wires in here with an SAE connector like you see on your battery tender connection so I can disconnect quickly in case of a problem. Along with I've got my fuses here so it'll blow in case there's a problem. And then it goes on through back through this wiring here. It comes to here. So your yellows, doesn't matter which one you go with, AC or DC, since it's alternating current at this point, it comes into the rectifier, the rectifier will turn it into direct current and give it a positive and negative coming out. 
make sure this negative goes to directly to the battery and not to a frame point. Don't connect it to the frame or anything. You wouldn't take it and connect it here as a matter of fact. It has to go back to the battery just like a car. And from the battery it can go to a uh, hard mount on the frame if you need to. Now this particular trail tech comes with also a red yellow which is not used. So I'm going to wire that up and tape it so that way it won't in case it touches anything. You've got some adjustments here for voltage regulation if you need to. You can read your trail tech manual. If you get a Baja Designs it's probably a little different or Moose Racing or Tusk or whoever. Here's your CDI right there. This is the uh, CDI out of a uh, XR400, I think a 1995 or 6, whatever those years are right there, gives you the higher revving. So, everything connected, I've got everything with uh, connectors that unplug, but I've wrapped them all just for mm -hmm. safety with um, water and going through streams and things. So again, everything direct, directly goes right back into your original harness except the two leftover green and white. They go to your yellows here, back into the regulator, and the regulator goes out to the battery. And then you just wire everything up really nice and put up, I'm gonna put some more of that red cover right here around this, and it's ready to go. Everything fits good. So remember, this is a dual output. AC regulator here, DC regulator there, battery up front. Any questions, just leave it in the comments down there or uh, PM me or something. Peace out.